Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of potosystemic collaterals in a case of hepatocellular carcinoma on the background of chronic liver disease with potovenous thrombosis and cavernous transformation. An elderly male patient came with abdominal pain and distension. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right lobe of the liver showing an irregular, ill-defined, heterogeneous space occupying lesion. The surrounding hepatic parenchyma looks coarse. This coarse parenchyma with space occupying lesion indicates it as a case of hepatocellular carcinoma on the background of chronic liver disease. You can see multiple hyperechogenic space occupying lesions adjacent to this large SOL, which may indicate the segmental metastasis in this case. The liver was mildly enlarged. And when we put the color Doppler, you can see there is a hyper echoic structure occluding the dilated main portal vein, which indicates the portal venous thrombosis. Here's the high frequency linear transducer view, and you can see the course pattern. I personally love to evaluate the liver parenchyma with high frequency linear transducer to understand the course pattern. And if you look at the inferior border of the liver, it shows irregular nodular pattern. Here is the high frequency view of the inferior border of the liver showing the irregularity as a nodular pattern. Now let's look at the portal vein. Here you can see the main portal vein showing an irregular hyperechogenic structure within the lumen. The right portal vein shows clear lumen. Now when we put the color Doppler, you can see there is flow within the right portal vein, but the main portal vein is occluded. Now the question arises how this blood came. You can see some tortuous vessels adjacent to this thrombosed portal vein which indicates the cavernous transformation. This is the hepatic artery and irregular tortuous vessels adjacent to this thrombosed portal vein indicating cavernous transformation. Now here we have put the color Doppler, you can see these aberrant tortuous vessels and this is the splenic vein at the portal confluence showing no flow, indicating thrombus within the distal splenic vein. Now here we are looking at the caudate lobe and you can see a small vessel at the mid part of the caudate lobe, indicating the dilated caudate vein. The normal caudate vein diameter is up to 2 mm. Here we have measured the caudate vein and its diameter was around 4 mm, indicating it as a dilated caudate vein. Now adjacent to this part, you can see this is the gastroesophageal junction and some tortuous vessels are also seen adjacent to this area. These tortuous vessels indicate gastroesophageal varices. Here you can see the spleen, it looks enlarged. And you can see that splenic hilum shows multiple dilated vessels. When we put the color Doppler, you can see some dilated tortuous vessels at the splenic hilum indicating splenorenal varices. Here you can see the area of ligamentum teres hepatis. You can see a dilated vein at that point which is not commonly visualized. This is the umbilical vein remnant. The normal diameter of this umbilical vein remnant is up to 3 mm. Here we have checked the diameter and it was around 7 mm, indicating it as a case of recanalized paraumbilical vein. So in summary, the liver is enlarged in size, irregular in shape with coarse parenchyma and multiple heterogeneous space occupying lesions within the right hepatic lobe. The main portal vein is dilated with luminal thrombi and cavernous transformation. Thrombi was also seen within the distal splenic vein. Spleen is enlarged with tortuous splenorenal varices. Tortuous vessels around the gastroesophageal junction indicates gastroesophageal varices. We have also seen recanalized paraumbilical vein and dilated caudate vein. 
So overall, this features end it as a case of hepatocellular carcinoma with hepatic metastasis on the background of chronic liver disease with portovenous thrombosis, cavernous transformation and development of portosystemic collaterals. Have you detected any important features missing here? We have got a negligible amount of collection at the iliac fossae. We expected a good amount of ascitic fluid here, which was not present. Now the take home message. Color Doppler is a useful tool to diagnose portal hypertension as well as to assess portosystemic collaterals. So if you have the Doppler facility, always in a case of chronic liver disease, try to search for portosystemic collaterals. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.